Bills linebacker Nigel Bradham is in his third year in the National Football League, and he's turning in a breakthrough season. Bradham's play on the field is something he knew was possible, and that belief began at a very young age. It had to be when I was like two years old, um, and that's when it started. I, I don't know exactly, I can't really remember exactly how it went out, but I know I think I was either watching it um, on TV, I believe, and I believe it was Florida State. And, um, and I just fell in love with it from there. Nigel's love for the game and goals he set at the young age of two soon enough became a reality. He attended Florida State where he finished his collegiate career, becoming the Seminoles' first player to lead the team in tackles three consecutive seasons. Your mom said when you were 16 years old, you told her she was going to be watching you play football on Saturdays and Sundays. And you've done that and you're doing it now. What does it mean to you? It's funny you ask me that because I never write down my goals. Um, and with that being said, it's just like to me with my goals, I feel like it, it's what I have to accomplish and I know what I want to do. That made me very proud. And as today I tell him the same thing, you are the only person that can set your goals and fulfill your destiny. There's no doubt the FSU product is playing lights out football this season. He's already racked up 85 tackles, two and a half sacks, two forced fumbles, and one interception, with four games still remaining in the regular season. He's playing at an extremely high level. Um, so it's really been, you know, a 180, you know, for him from last year to this year. Off the field, you appear to be pretty laid back. But on the field, it's like you turn into this other person. Is it a switch you turn on and off? Um, i always been like that, even from the time I was a little boy. Um, just something like, it, we call it beast mode. Let's go, Boom. that's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Let's go. And that's the passion, the love you have for the game, um, the aggressiveness, and everything that you put into it, and your time and your hard work, it all just comes out on the field. You had to sit out for that first game of the season. What was that like watching your team play and not being part of that game? Well, it was just hard for me to be able to sit home and watch on the couch, uh, watching my teammates who I've been with all, all season, um, all training camp, and been working with, um, and then not to be a part, like everything just fell off. I think that was one of the high points that led him to know that this is what he wants and he needs to step up to the plate. Another major incentive for Nigel to step up to the plate is the birth of his son Nazar in September. How has having a new baby changed your life? I mean, it's amazing. <laughs> and that's the best feeling, the best feeling in the world um, to be able to just hold your, your own creation. He gets bigger by the day. Uh, it's, it's just an amazing sight to see. It's a beautiful thing. I'm going to make sure he, he makes all the right decisions and try to be the best role model that I can be for him. I know he's going to be a great father um, and you know he basically said to me that now he has to step up to the plate, do what it is that he needs to do to make sure that his son is taken care of. The Crawfordville, Florida native feels like he's found a home here in Buffalo. The, the fans and the people, like it's just tremendous great people here and they really make it feel like home. And then when you go out there and play in front of, in front of all of them, you feel like you just got to you got to do something good for them. Like you want to win for them, for the fans and in the city. Um, because I mean, I feel like the environment here is, it's a great environment. Um, and it's something that I want to be a part of for a long time. From One Bills Drive, I'm Alexandra Vitale.